in these problems, these three examples, we're going to use a t-table to find the z alpha divided by 2 value. Now normally a t-table should not be used to find z values, but in these problems it turns out that because the confidence levels are these nice values of 90, 98, 99, um, we can use the t-table to find those critical z values. There's one line on the bottom of a t-table that always has z scores. So let's look at a t-table that I use in my classes. So here's the t-table, right? and it has area in one tail listed. Remember, the z alpha divided by 2 value is a z-score that leaves area in one tail of alpha divided by 2. So this table will work perfectly to find um, these values if it has z-scores on the bottom row, and sure enough, it does. You'll actually see when we zoom into this table at the bottom of the table actually has some notation here that says z at the bottom because the very last line or very last row of the t-table always has some z scores. That's because the t-distribution in its limit is the same as the z-distribution. So what we're going to do here is use this table on this bottom row of the table here to find these critical z values. It turns out that this is the most simple way to do it. But it has another benefit. It actually has an extra decimal place of accuracy. So you get three decimal places after the decimal point where you only get two with the z-table traditionally. So let's go ahead and um, take a look at how this is done. It's pretty simple. All you have to do to use the t-table is to identify alpha divided by two. So we're trying to find in this problem, we want to find z alpha divided by two using a t-table. So find z alpha divided by two using a t-table. So the first step is very simple. Get alpha, right? Get alpha. So alpha is very easy. Alpha is one minus the confidence level, right? So for us, that means in this first example for 101, we can say that our alpha is gonna be one minus 0 0.90, 90% as a decimal, right? And when you're done with that, it's gonna give you 0 0.10. So there you have your alpha. Now once you have alpha, we need to know what alpha divided by two is. So then divide alpha by two. We're just gonna take that alpha and chop it in half because remember we're looking for a z alpha divided by two value. So that should be easy to remember that you have to divide your alpha by two to finish this problem. So we'll say, okay, alpha divided by two is then 0 0.10 divided by 2, which ultimately gives us 0 0.05, or in other words, what's half of 10% is 5%. All right, so finally, we're going to look this value up. So look this up on the t-table in the appropriate column that corresponds to 5%. Go straight to the bottom where the z-scores are located, and you will find your critical z alpha divided by 2 value. So let's go to our t-table and see how that's done. Okay, so here we are at our t-table, nice and zoomed in, and we can see that there's a little heading here that says area in one tail. That's our alpha divided by two value that we just found. So it turns out that in our example, the first one here, it was 0.05. So we're in this column, and all we have to do is go straight to the bottom of that column and find the number at the very end. So I'm going to just move this table up until we see the last row of the table, and there it is. The very last row says that the number is 1.645. 1.645 is our critical z value. Okay, so for our first example, the answer is z alpha divided by 2 is equal to 1.645. And we can do the same for the other two. And we can actually work a little bit faster on those examples. To work faster, what we're going to do is we're simply going to, for these problems, identify alpha in our heads, and then we're going to chop it in half in our heads, and then we'll look that number up on our table. So let's do the next example then. For the next example, we're trying to find the z alpha divided by 2 value for 98% confidence interval. Well, I can tell very quickly that since alpha and the confidence level have to add up to 100%, alpha here must be 2%, because what's the difference between 100% and 98%? The answer is 2%. So I have 2% as alpha, that must mean that alpha divided by 2 is 0 0.02 or 2% divided by 2, so that gives you 1% of 0 0.01. And 
And so it's going to be 0.01 that we look up on our table, and this will lead to our corresponding z alpha divided by 2 value. So let's go to our t table. We're going to look up 0.01 in the one tail all the way down to the bottom of the table, and we'll find our corresponding z alpha divided by 2 value. Okay, so here we are at our t table, and we're looking at the area in one tail, and in this example it was 0 0.01. So we're going to go straight to the bottom of this column and see what number we find. So all the way down to the bottom, and we see that the value that we come up with is 2.326. So the z-score is 2.326. Okay, so we found the answer here to be 2.326. Okay, so for our last example here in the list, we have 103, which says find z alpha divided by 2 for a 99% confidence interval. So again, let's demonstrate how simple this is. From 100%, we take away that 99%, we come up with 1%. That must be alpha then, right? So alpha is 1%. But we always want alpha divided by 2 in these problems. So alpha divided by 2 here is 0 0.01 divided by 2. And as a decimal, that's 0 0.005. So we need to go to our table and look up 0 0.005, which will lead to our z alpha divided by 2 value. All right, just a quick note. If we weren't able to find this on the t-table, say this value is not listed on the t-table, then we know we have to resort to using the z-table like we looked at in example 100. But here we're going to be able to find this on the t-table, so we'll go there now, we'll look this number up, and we'll find our last critical z alpha divided by 2 value. Okay, so this time we're looking at the um, alpha divided by 2 value of 0 0.005. So we find that in the first column of our t-table. So in one tail, 0 0.005, we're going to go straight to the bottom of this column in order to find the critical z value. So moving the table down, we end up seeing that the last column has 2.576 in it. So that's our critical z alpha divided by 2 value, 2.576. Okay, so we found our critical z alpha divided by 2 value to be 2.576. And that's it.